Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most heart-wrenching and intense moments from the boys' comic series, the death of Billy Butcher. Let's break down how Butcher meets his end in the comics and discuss how this might differ in the show. First, let's talk about where Butcher is at in the show versus the comics. In the Amazon series, Butcher's been through hell and back, and his condition is getting worse, especially with that worm in his head. It's clear that Butcher's on a path of self-destruction, but how close is this storyline to what we see in the comics? In the comics, Butcher's journey is just as dark, if not darker. By the time we reach the climax of the series, Butcher's vendetta against the soups has spiraled out of control. After the deaths of his wife and unborn child, which were caused by Homelander, later revealed to be Black Noir in disguise, Butcher's mission turns from one of revenge to one of pure annihilation. He doesn't just want to kill Homelander, he wants to wipe out all soups from the face of the earth. Daddy's home. In the comics, Butcher's descent into madness reaches its peak when he concocts a plan to release a virus that would kill every superpowered being on the planet. This virus is contagious and deadly, and Butcher is fully committed to his genocidal plan. He believes that the only way to avenge his wife and cleanse the world is to eliminate all soups, regardless of the cost. But here's where things get really dark. Butcher doesn't just target the soups, he also turns on his own team. Frenchie, Mother's Milk, and Kimiko all oppose Butcher's plan, but they aren't strong enough to stop him. In a devastating turn of events, Butcher kills them, leaving only Huey alive to confront him. Now let's get into the tragic and shocking way Butcher meets his end in the comics. After Butcher's killing spree, it all comes down to a final showdown between him and Huey. The two face off at the top of the Empire State Building, and the fight is brutal. Both men are seriously injured, but it's clear that Butcher is pushing Huey to his limits, both physically and emotionally. Butcher knows that Huey is the only one who can stop him, but Huey is conflicted. Despite everything, Huey still sees Butcher as a mentor, a father figure, and he's not sure he can bring himself to kill him. But Butcher, always one step ahead, manipulates Huey in the most twisted way possible. As Huey hesitates, Butcher lies to him, claiming that he killed Huey's parents in retaliation. The lie is devastating, and it pushes Huey over the edge. In a fit of rage and heartbreak, Huey stabs Butcher in the chest, killing him. But here's the kicker, Butcher wanted this. As Huey frantically calls home to check on his parents, they answer the phone, alive and well. Butcher sits there, mortally wounded, with a smile on his face. He tricked Huey into killing him, knowing that if he lived, he would never be able to stop himself from executing his horrific plan. Butcher's death in the comics is a fittingly tragic and twisted end for a character who has been consumed by hatred and revenge. It's a moment that highlights the complexity of Butcher's character, a man who started with a righteous cause but ultimately became the very monster he sought to destroy. The fact that Huey, the most innocent and moral member of the boys, is the one to kill Butcher adds another layer of tragedy. Butcher had recruited Huey because he reminded him of his dead little brother, and in the end, he chose Huey as the one to stop him. It's a final, twisted lesson from Butcher, showing how far Huey has been pushed and how much he's changed. Now the big question, will the Amazon series follow the same path? It's highly unlikely. The show has already diverged significantly from the comics in many ways, especially with the character of Huey and the relationships within the boys. In the comics, Butcher's plan to kill all soups drives him to kill his own team. But the show has made it clear that the members of the boys are much closer, almost like family. He ain't nothing to you. Monique, good to see you. In the TV series, Butcher doesn't seem to have the same motivation to kill the boys as he does in the comics. This changes the dynamic entirely making it less likely that we'll see a direct adaptation of Butcher's comic book death. However, that doesn't mean we won't see Butcher meet a tragic end. The show has hinted at his self-destructive tendencies and the possibility that he could go too far, leading to his downfall. All right, all right, keep your ear on, love. We just want a little chin wait, so. Talk American? Right. If Butcher does die in the series, it could happen in a variety of ways. The worm in his head could be the literal death of him, or he could die in a final, desperate attempt to take down Homelander or another major soup. It's also possible that Huey could still play a role in Butcher's death, but in a way that's unique to the show's storyline. One thing's for sure, if and when Butcher dies in the TV series, it's going to be a powerful and emotional moment. The series has done an incredible job of building up Butcher's character, and his death would have a huge impact on the remaining members of the boys, particularly Huey. When we're all done here, I'll 
I'll buy you a nice big family size bottle of Top Shelf Lube. So there you have it. The story of how Billy Butcher meets his end in the comics, and some speculation on how the TV series might handle this pivotal moment. Butcher's death in the comics is one of the most shocking and tragic moments in the entire series. And while the show might take a different path, the impact of Butcher's fate will be just as significant. What do you think? Will the show give Butcher a similar ending? or will it take a completely different direction? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of the boys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oi.